Welcome back. Well, when we think of summer and grilling, we usually think of things like burgers, steaks, and brats. Yep, but today we're going to switch things up a little bit and lighten it up for the grill because we're going to grill pizza. Chef Kate Luloff is back from Jones Dairy Farm to teach us how to make a grown up summer pizza. Good to have you here. Thank you for In our backyard. Me. Yes, right <laughs> in our backyard. It Where looks it's like nice we're in the backyard. 72 degrees, not 90 like outside. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But this is a big deal because in the summer you don't want to heat up your kitchen. Exactly. So being able to grill, especially on hot days, you know, just kind of going out and then going back into the cool is really nice. You're not heating up that inside. Exactly. And especially pizza because you do it at a normally high temp. So yes. the oven is at 425 or 450 for you know, 20 minutes, yeah, it's going to heat up the kitchen really quick. Yeah, so. for sure. This just looks perfect. Oh I just gosh. think this looks cool. And to serve something like this, because I think people, like you said, want to be using their mm -hmm. grill in the summer, but they don't always want to do burgers. Or they don't right. always want to put a steak on. They want something a little lighter, mm -hmm. but something kind of fun and fresh. And it just looks cool. Good, thanks. And pizza doesn't have to be intimidating on the grill. I mean, we did flatbreads, which are super simple. You can buy them, you know, pre-bought. Um, but if you have a homemade dough that you like to use or, yeah. a, or a frozen dough that you bring home and thaw out, you can do that on the grill too. So. All right, so let's talk yeah. through some of the ingredients because I see you got some Canadian bacon here, which is I my do. favorite. I know, and that's why we left some on the plate sliced for you. So <laughs> you can you grace if you wanted. Yeah. Yes, so this is going to be um, the, the main component of the flatbread, so the mm -hmm. Jones Canadian bacon. Please. And it Ooh. is, um, I know we've talked about it before, hickory smoked, natural. Um, hardwood chips, never any liquid smoke flavor. Mm -hmm. Super low in fat. It's 97% fat free. Lots of protein. Um, only 60 calories for three three slices. So mm -hmm. you know, three awesome. slices is, is plenty for a little pizza like that, and you get your protein in. This is always in my refrigerator because I have it with my eggs. I use it with sandwiches, everything. It's mm -hmm. always it's in my good. It's good on so many things. And mm -hmm. I like the way you kind of julienned it mm -hmm. um, here. I don't know if I just used the right word, you but did. you did. put in a little <laughs> strips. I'm trying to you show off. Right? I don't know if that worked. <laughs> but um, that's a nice way to put it on the pizza because uh, obviously, if you're taking a bite into it and it's, it's still left in the rounds, it, it might not be so. So I like right. the way you did that. What else is on the this pizza. is easier to eat. How do you yes. make it? Um, so we we have some fresh peaches, which are super in season right now. Yeah, um, the love peaches. The flatbread. We're just going to brush with a little bit of olive oil. We're okay. not using a, we're not using a red sauce. We're opting for the olive oil this time instead. It's just a little lighter, and mm -hmm. it pairs well with the flavor of the Canadian bacon. And is it just on one side that you put the oil? Yep, we're just going to okay. brush one side. Okay. okay. So we'll brush that, and that'll be kind of like your your base or your sauce. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have some smoked gouda. Yum. You can use That's whatever Gouda cheese. Yeah. Uh -huh. You can use whatever cheese you like. I like the smoked Gouda because it helps bring out the natural smoke flavor yeah. in the Canadian bacon. Okay. So it pairs nicely with the bacon. Don't Canadian be shy. bacon. Don't be shy with that cheese. Don't be shy with it. <laughs> uh -huh. And that's the one thing about doing pizzas on the grill. They're going to go pretty fast. So like yeah. this, this and flat bread. What level heat? You're going to go high heat. Oh, really? Yep. Okay. And then um, if your burner, like if you're using a small grill like this and your burner is close to um, to the food, then once you get it Heat it up, you're going to have to turn it down a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, your bottom's going to burn before the rest of right, it is heated through. Right, right. But when you're doing pizza on the grill, the one thing to remember is not to overload. You're not going to be able to do like a oh. four-meat pizza on the grill without turning that heat way down and letting it cook for a little bit. Yeah. So, okay. Okay. Because it'll, know. again, burn the crust, right? Exactly. Or the bread. Yep. Okay. The crust will get... Well, the dough will be done. The crust will be done before the rest of the pizza. Mm. Are those caramelized onions? They are, and the recipe Yum. is on there. That's actually the most the most time consuming part of the of the recipe is just caramelizing oh, those. Oh, but those add such amazing flavor to pizza. And it's oh, that yeah. sweetness that you get uh -huh. when you caramelize that'll bring out the sweetness of the peaches too. Okay. So. And Jones Dairy Farm, the website JonesDairyFarm.com is where people mm -hmm. can go for this recipe. And just mm -hmm. a reminder too, while she's putting peaches on there, mm -hmm. it's a Canadian bacon peach and um, uh, not gorgonzola, but we do have gorgonzola. Oh. Okay. Also for a little topping, but that is a smoked gouda. Okay, mm -hmm. and gouda cheese. Okay, Perfect. That's how we'll have the, can find the it. recipe and stuff on our website as well. And the Canadian bacon, um, you can find at your grocery store in the by the prepackaged deli meats. Mm -hmm. That's okay. where you would find that. A lot of these, though, the sausages you have to find in the freezer section. Sausages are going to be in the freezer because there's no preservatives, no no nitrates, anything like that. So mm -hmm. there's nothing that'll. Um, it's it's got to stay frozen to stay fresh. The um, thing I like about these is because even when you're you know if you're kind of watching your waistline, mm -hmm. these fit into a really healthy diet. They easily. absolutely do, and especially the new um, the new chicken sausages, lower and yes. Fat, so mm -hmm. if you haven't tried it yet. You have to try okay, the chicken. Is so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you put on some um, a little walnuts? bit of I did pecans. Okay. Oh, pecans. A little bit of toast, okay. toasted pecans and a little bit of fresh thyme. Okay. okay. And then we're gonna put on some gorgonzola. Okay. So right with the gouda, the I got a little confused, but there's actually mm -hmm. two kinds of two cheese. two kinds of cheese. Okay. So the smoked gouda will bring out the the smoky flavor of the Canadian bacon, and then the gorgonzola because it's a blue cheese, it's gonna have that little bit of tang that you mm -hmm. want, mm -hmm. and that'll Sharpness. pair with the little peppery of the arugula. So all right. Okay. So we have one. 
Yeah, the magic girl. of magic of TV warp look speed at this here. Oh my gosh. That is fantastic. So this that one looks so good. It was just about under five minutes. Okay. Okay. Okay, and then we'll put this one on. That one will take about right around five minutes. Now, do you add the arugula then after it's done grilling? Yes. Okay. Otherwise, it's going to wilt like right. finish. It's going to get mm -hmm. a little uh, more bitter than you want. So. Okay. All right. So Wonderful. Cut a little that girl bit on top, and we'll. So the website where the. Uh, where everything's going to be at. You can find out more about Jones Dairy Farm at jonesdairyfarm.com. This recipe and more are on there. You can check those out, including this pizza for the grill. Don't heat up your kitchen, right? Go right. grill on outside. Absolutely. And again, you find the Canadian bacon in the refrigerated, refrigerated section by section other packaged meats. By the prepackaged, right? yep. Or you can get it at the Jones uh, Market. Which is in Fort Atkinson. Which is in Fort Atkinson, right on the main street, right up from the fireside. Fun oh my place gosh. to visit. Tons Delicious. of samples. So good. Love peaches, too. Oh, Thank those you flavors. so much, Kate. Thank you Great very much. Mm -hmm. Great to have you in our backyard. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>